You vacation in another country or even the other side of the U.S., but when you come back to work, instead of feeling well rested, you're hit with a wall of jet lag. A Suncoast sleep specialist has some tips to get the most out of your vacation and get back to work without jet lag weighing you down. No matter where you fly, beating jet lag is a tough task. Sleep specialist Matthew Edlin says it all comes down to your internal clock. Let's say you fly from Tampa to Rome. What you're basically doing is you're taking a 24-hour day and now it's a 19-hour day and your body doesn't know what that time is. Flying internationally or even across the states can throw off your internal clock, but here's the surprising twist. It will also throw off the internal clock of each of your individual organs. So your liver doesn't come back on Rome time as quickly as your lungs, which is faster than your brain. So how do we prevent the sluggish aftermath? The real trick in treating jet lag is to know what your inner clock time is and then adjust by using light. Not so easy, but this travel tip will help. The trick when you fly east is to actually put on sunglasses if you're going to wake up in the morning, if you're going to get there in the morning, I mean, and then use the sunglasses for like three or four hours and then get sunlight and exercise. Exercise and light help your body adjust. And if you don't prepare for jet lag before your trip, remember these three key factors. Try to get used to their time zone through light, through physical activity, and through food. And always put the phone down at night. If we look at it at two or three in the morning, we'll not only cut out melatonin production, but phase shift us in some cases later. Dr. Edlin says people can actually cause their own internal jet lag by being on their phone late at night without even going on vacation. How is your jet lag doing? Of course, you had the trip to Italy. Yes, it's getting better. Good. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of not, sleep and a lot of coffee. Not yawning so much. That's great. <laughs>